To make your own Shake Shack style burgers, you will need one pound of beef. You can use uh, anything that comes up with 20 to 30% fat. I use sirloin and short ribs. You're gonna need some potato buns, some American cheese, that's my favorite. You need salt and pepper, a meat grinder, yes, you are gonna grind your own meat, a heavy pan and a heavy spatula and whatever toppings you wanna get for your burgers. So first things first, let's set up the meat grinder. This is a pretty common attachment for a KitchenAid. You can see you put the tube in there, you put the blade on top, that's the die. There's two of them that come with it. You want the smaller one and then you just screw that thing on the front and you set that aside. You're all set to go with that. Now for the meat, you gotta cut it up into little chunks so that it can go through the, the grinder. So just cut it up and put it in a bowl because you're gonna need those, you're actually gonna need to chill the meat so that it can stay good when it goes through the grinder. Put that in the freezer and put the whole grinder attachment in the freezer too while you get set up. Now to actually attach it to your KitchenAid, you're gonna to wanna to pull off that main screw on that bump on the front and then there's a little cover, you just pry that thing off and now you can take your meat grinder attachment and put it on there. Just get the little tab lined up on the side and screw the little screw back in and uh, that's all there is to it. You're good to go to start grinding some meat. So once you're ready to go, all you have to do is turn on the meat grinder to four and start dumping meat in the top. You can just put it in uh, and it comes, the thing comes with this tool that you can use to push it down. You'll see the meat starts coming out the front all nice and stringy like that and it just falls right into the bowl, nice and loose. That's actually how you want it. And as you go to make your burgers, you're gonna make about four burgers out of a pound, maybe three, depends on how big you want them. And you wanna loosely form the burgers here. You do not want to over compress these. You don't wanna jam them or smash them or pat them together. Go ahead and season just the top with salt and pepper, you can be pretty liberal with that. Uh, and again, only the top. Now for the bun, we've got potato buns, and this is pretty easy. Just melt a little butter in the microwave, put it on there and throw them in the toaster oven or in the broiler just to get them nice and golden brown. That is gonna help keep the flavor in the burger and also just makes it taste good. This is what they're gonna look like when they're done. So just set those aside, because now it's time to cook the burger. So take a good cast iron pan. I think that's the best. You can use whatever though. Before you turn on the stove, take a paper towel with some vegetable oil and just wipe down the pan. Now turn the burner on to medium high and just let it sit until the oil barely begins to smoke. Then it's ready for the meat. So take the meat and place it in the pan, season side down. Now smash it with a stiff, heavy spatula. You have to do this quickly. You've only got about 20 to 30 seconds to smash this down and you wanna push it hard. Now you have to do this quickly. Uh, if you do it too late, you'll squeeze all the juices out. Then season the other side while it cooks. Let it cook for a minute and a half or two minutes until it's cooked and then carefully flip it over and that's what you're looking for, that nice golden brown on the bottom side of it. You can go ahead and put your piece of cheese on there and let that go while it melts. You wanna go about another 30 to 45 seconds for medium rare. You can go a little longer if you like it done a little bit better and that's all there is to it. Once again, careful with the spatula. This is a little looser than your average hamburger. Go ahead and put it on the bun, put whatever toppings you want on it and you are done. Enjoy your Shake Shack style burger.